The top team in Blue Lock is determined to take down Isagi, branding it the insta-kill. But Bachida is only interested in playing fun football. As the teams get set for the match, Aryu is taken aback by Chigidi's glamorous hairstyle and compliments him, making it clear that this is Chigidi's matchup. But when Chigidi calls him by his name, Aryu is thrown into a state of shame over how unglamorous it is. Tokimitsu fears that Aryu won't play well like this and nervously asks for a delay of game. Bado, without any authority to do so, denies the request and grows irritated with Tokimitsu's negative attitude towards everything. But when he tries to lift him, he realizes Tokimitsu possesses remarkable strength. Bado will be marking Tokimitsu. Nagi seeks an opponent who excites him and challenges Rin to become even stronger, leaving Isagi to square off against Bachida in a no-holds-barred battle. Bachida attempts to shake Isagi off with his signature ultra-fast scissors dribbling, but Isagi anticipates the move. Bachida sees that he's grown stronger since their last encounter and is more focused on the field than on one-on-one -on -one battles. Bachida is determined to get past Isagi, but Bado doubles up on him, forcing him to pass. However, Isagi intercepts the pass with ease, swiftly passing to Nagi. To Nagi's surprise, Rin is fully aware of his first touch skill and positions himself to counter. Nagi passes the ball to Chigiri, who rushes in and scores the first point for Isagi's team. Bachida is pleased to see how well Isagi's team is working together and considers them a worthy opponent. He is determined to win. 35 meters out, scoring a goal from kickoff seems impossible, even for Rin. Bachida dribbles cautiously, keeping a watchful eye on Baro. Just when Isagi thinks Bachida is off guard, he makes a no-look pass to Aryu, who's able to reach the ball almost effortlessly, then passes it to Tokimitsu, who Bado struggles to push, even slightly. With a quick one-touch pass to the middle of the field, Rin is now in shooting range. Nagi tries to stop him, but Rin easily fakes him out. Isagi and Chigiri team up to prevent the inevitable shot, but Rin deceives them as well. Isagi realizes that Rin is a formidable opponent who can create limitless variations of himself and has every skill necessary to execute those variations flawlessly. As Isagi attempts to steal the ball, Rin praises him for improving, but points out that he's still far behind. With a spectacular jumping shot, Rin equalizes the score. The team is at a loss on how to stop Rin, but Isagi has learned from their previous encounter and can now decipher Rin's moves. He knows that he must devour Rin to win the game, but he's unsure of how to do it. Isagi explains how Rin executed his last play by drawing them in during a crucial moment, which is likely his go-to strategy. Chigiri observes that Isagi is the only one who can keep up with Rin's thought process, making Isagi the key to stopping him. Although they're uncertain about their defense, their offense is working well. Chigiri has the ball, and after analyzing the field, Isagi positions himself for a pass. However, Rin anticipates Isagi's off-the-ball movement and intercepts the pass. He possesses the same level of field vision as Isagi, but always seems to be one step ahead. Rin passes the ball to Bachida, who is impressed with Isagi's improvement and decides to showcase his skills by sending the ball flying with vertical spin to Aryu. Chigiri and Nagi both attempt to catch up with the ball, but they're focused on where it will land, while Aryu leaps and heads the ball into the net well before it gets near the ground, bringing the score to 2-1. Isagi initially believed that stopping Rin was the key to winning, but he now realizes that Bachida serves as the team's core, leveraging the strengths of the top three players. Nagi also understands the role Bachida plays in elevating Rin's team, and he's determined to crush them. He's grateful to Mikage for introducing him to football, but playing with Isagi is what serves his commitment to get stronger. They kick off the next round with Chikiri on the ball. Nagi observes the field and notices Isagi's positioning strategy, which involves Bado acting as a decoy and buzzing around Chikiri to create space for Isagi. However, Rin sees through this tactic. Nagi acknowledges that the two prodigies share the same level of vision and the reason Isagi can't beat Rin might be due to physical limitations. Nagi decides to be the final piece of the puzzle and shake up the game by going beyond expectations and making it more unpredictable. Chigiri passes the ball to Nagi, 
who immediately lets it go to Isagi, hoping that he'll quickly analyze the field and redraw their strategy. Rin is still able to anticipate Isagi's pass, so Nagi decides to fake a shot to throw Rin off balance and then scores the equalizing goal. Nagi is certain that with Isagi, he can continue to push his limits and become even stronger. This impressive outplay finally ignites Rin's competitive spirit. The white team erupts in cheers after Nagi's exceptional goal. Isagi is thrilled that he can finally compete head-to-head -head with Rin by using Nagi's skills, but he knows that this alone is not enough. If he truly wants to become the best striker in the world, he must surpass Rin on his own. With the game tied, Isagi begins to strategize on how to replicate their successful performance. He realizes that in order to gain an advantage over Rin, both he and Nagi must improve. If they can achieve a 50-50 chance against Rin, their weapons can work to their advantage. However, Isagi isn't content with just being equal. He must evolve his future vision and anticipate the play before Rin does, giving him the upper hand in the match. Isagi remains unaware that Rin has entered his serious mode, his competitive spirit fueled. Rin takes control of the ball from the kickoff and executes a backspin pass to Tokimitsu, allowing him to beat Baro to the ball. He knocks it back to Rin, who lobs it forward to Aryu, testing his limits in aerial battle. But when Chigiri blocks Aryu's path, he passes the ball back to Rin. Nagi is on him and tries to read Rin's fake, but it turns into a roulette spin around him. Isagi believes he's anticipated Rin's move, but it's the other way around. The ball heads to Bachida, who scores a goal. Rin had manipulated Isagi and everyone else on the field like puppets. In this play, his mastery is on full display, proving that he and Isagi are not on the same level. Rin's play style centers around controlling people by manipulating their thoughts, assessing their skills, and pushing them to their full potential to create the future he envisions. Rin is simply incredible, seemingly flawless in every way. Despite this setback, Isagi's team refuses to give up and focuses on unconventional tactics that Rin cannot predict, and something is burning within Baro. Game on. Isagi senses that something unusual is happening. Rin's team has changed their defense, with Bachida now playing anchor. Despite this, Isagi tries to get through by passing to Chigiri. He gets past Aryu, but Rin manages to stop him, and Chigiri passes the ball to Nagi. Isagi manages to get past Bachida to receive a pass from Nagi. However, Rin is there to block his way once again, leaving Isagi bewildered and lost. He knows that he cannot beat Rin in a one-on-one -on -one situation. But Baro has been waiting patiently like a hungry lion for an opportunity like this, and steals the ball from Isagi, throwing a wrench in the works of Rin's plans. Baro scores a goal, tying it up at 3-3. Isagi recognizes that Bado's playstyle as the villain of the field is unpredictable and hard to read, making him the key to winning the game. Isagi analyzes the situation and realizes that he himself needs to be someone that Rin cannot control. Bado's unpredictability gives them an edge, but Rin has already assessed Bado's playstyle and is confident that he can prevent it from happening again. The game recommences and Isagi instructs Chigiri to use his speed to pressure the ball carrier, changing their defensive strategy. Under Chigiri's pressure, Rin passes to Bachira, and Isagi quickly marks him, forcing a two-on-one situation with Chigiri. Rin is unguarded, but Isagi anticipates his movements and uses Chigiri to slow down the opponent's decision-making. Despite Bachira managing to barely out-dribble Chigiri, Isagi had already read the play and was waiting for him with Bado ready to swoop in. Bado feints Tokimitsu with a chop, but Rin reacts just in time to prevent him from continuing and knocks the ball out of play. Rin failed to predict the play, while Isagi maximized Bado's unpredictability, resulting in a fierce competition between two prodigies at an unbelievable level. The field now has two monsters battling it out. Bachida's dream of playing football with monsters is finally coming true, but something is not right. He feels like he's being left behind, or perhaps it's a test? Chigiri hits the ball out of play, and Isagi's team faces another predicament. 
everyone's stamina is rapidly draining. As the players become sloppier, the team that catches on to their opponent's mistakes first will have an advantage. From the throw-in, Rin and Tokimitsu pass the ball around and easily get past the defense. Thanks to Tokimitsu's immense strength and stamina, Baro and Chigiri both receive yellow cards for trying to stop him a little too aggressively. Rin has a free kick from his sweet spot, and Isagi has to decide whether to defend against a shot or team up against a possible pass. Rin reads Isagi perfectly and shoots the ball right above his head, not giving him enough time to react and scoring a goal, making it 4-3. Rin reveals that a shot on goal was the only option. Bachida realizes that the two monsters are playing to satisfy their egos and questions what he's playing for, to find a true monster or a friend. He now knows that these reasons aren't going to be enough to keep up. Thank you for sticking until the end. Subscribe for more videos like this.